drove through Knoxville just last week. I drove through Knoxville just last week. Well, I drove right by Cherry Street. And I didn't leave the interstates. I didn't leave the interstates now. Oh, I kept them wheels spinning straight. Or maybe my tank was mostly full. Or maybe I still had such a long, long way to go. Well, I didn't feel like talking in your door. No. Road of Knoxville blues didn't hit me like before. <laughs> I said I don't know the reason for the change now. Some things, honey, I better unexplain So if you still got that piece of my heart Yeah, you know the one you swore you'd hold on to forever Won't you keep it in the room where you keep my records Now the poplar trees are starting to turn gold Gold, gold, calling me to come back home. Well, I didn't feel like docking in your door. Road of Knoxville blues didn't hit me like before. Road of Knoxville blues didn't hit me like before. Road of Knoxville blues didn't hit me like before. Alrighty, guys, you just heard first song of Michael Paul Lawson, and uh, now I get to catch up with you, buddy. I think the number one question that people always ask me when they go see you is, how does that guy look so good and play even better? How do you balance looking great and writing killer songs? I don't even know how to answer that question. Do you, like, work out at all? I mean, it's like follow like the ACSM standard guidelines of uh, activity per week. What is that? I don't know. It's like 20 to 30 minutes a day or something. Get your heart rate up a little oh, bit. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. Body, body stuff? Body stuff, yeah. All yeah. the body stuff. Nice, man. So, <laughs> but, but really though, when you're writing <laughs> songs, um, I, I, I just kind of get lost in, in the stories that you tell. And then, and then hearing where, like, where you come from and how you started, and and you traveling from New York to Austin as a kid, um, it's just super interesting to know. Like, I always wonder who you who you were listening to when you were a kid. Um, I was I was all over the place. It kind of um, my parents were music teachers, so my mom taught elementary school vocal music, so like K through five. Um, so she was always singing like kids songs. Like I know all the verses to A Sailor Went to Sea, um, which there's way more verses than you actually would believe. Um, I don't know, this was like the 80s. So there was just like a ton of Michael Jackson. Uh, she listened to a ton of Billy Joel. We were up in New York, so we were like huge Billy Joel fans. Yeah. Um, and over time it kind of branched out. Like I went down a lot of rabbit holes musically before I kind of ended up doing what I'm doing now. Um, but I've always kind of been drawn to all genres um, and just kind of listen to artists of all different backgrounds. And uh, I think that's kind of just pushed me towards ultimately just finding my own my own place. Yeah. Did you kind of, did any one artist kind of spark that songwriters? Like for me, it was always hard to start uh, writing songs because I couldn't really hear myself in anybody. And then, you know, obviously it was Bob Dylan and I kind of started writing with that foundation. Who was that for you? Um, if I had to pick a couple people, um, you know, it started, it started young. 
when I was in middle school, I was listening to a ton of rap music. I was listening to a ton of Nas. Nas was yeah. like, it's a huge Nas fan. And so that was probably like kind of what propelled me towards just writing poetry in general. Um, and you can find a lot of similarities between Dylan and Nas and kind of that, that folk music scene and hip hop, a lot of the same storytelling uh, elements. Um, and that kind of grew into like, I guess, man, like I was listening to like metal and, and rap and it was the late 90s. So, you know, yeah, it was just yeah. a lot of weird stuff that was out there that didn't age particularly well. Um, I don't know. I think like when I started to settle into what I was doing now, I had these voice teachers that were like, you have this great voice for country. And at the time, that wasn't really what I wanted to hear. But like people just kept saying that. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, like I kind of really started to go back and revisit old country records. Um, and that it, it just kind of like started to click and yeah. settle in. The folkness of it. What you yeah. liked about Nas was really in these old country folk songs. A little bit. Yeah. I mean, the storytelling aspect was always the most important thing to me. Yeah. Definitely. Did you have any, like, what was, like, your guilty? Like, for me, it was Backstreet Boys. Like, sure. Uh, John Mayer. Backstreet Boys. John Mayer. John Mayer. Yeah. He's, he's yeah, because he, he's been through arcs, right? Like, he started sure. out kind of more poppy, but you realize yeah. that he is phenomenal. Those two right? records he did, like, out in Montana, those, like, folkier records, mm -hmm. are two of my favorite records. I think they're so good. Heck yeah. Um, so that probably, that probably had some influence, too. I was like, oh, John Mayer's going folk. I'll go folk. <laughs> right? yeah. That's how we all think. And um, inspir like current inspiration, um, I got the chance to play with you the other day with another with Alex actually, and um, and you were just like, you know, I, I have these couple new songs. You just kept bringing them out, and like this new song, this new song. How do you? What's the fountain of inspiration? Like, is it two at a time that come to you, or do you just kind of roll with the punches? And um, I've always been a really, I'm like a really streaky writer. So like, I'll mm -hmm. write, I'll write a ton of stuff, and then I'll, I'll go dormant, and I'll not write a lot of stuff for a yeah. while. Um, and it also like, like I put out a record in October, and anytime mm -hmm. I like finish a project. Afterward, I just, I have no idea what I want to do. Yeah, and I get yeah, yeah. like ADHD and I can't really pick one sound or one thing that I want to focus on. And so I'm kind of like, I'm still in that stage right now where I'm like, I don't, I don't really know what I want to say next or what I want to talk about or what I want to explore. Um, but I think the, the, the big thing that's changed for me is when I first started writing, like I was always writing out of a sense of desperation yeah. Like I needed I needed to do it because I wasn't happy or fulfilled in in my life and I felt like writing and music was like the only thing that was going to be able to save me. So um, like your exit plan? Pretty much. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's great and a lot of good stuff comes out of that, but I don't know if it's like the healthiest place to write from long term. Yeah. Um and so now like I got married this year. I've got my first kid being born in like 6 weeks. Congratulations, um, probably, I guess, whenever this airs, I will probably be a dad at that time. Yeah. So, um, you know, I've got these major life changes happening. And really, for the first time ever, I'm not, I'm not writing from that place of desperation. Um, and so I'm trying to find, and I'm kind of just searching for, like, what, what are the things that I have learned about, about love, about myself um and just kind of about navigating this world where for a long time like i always felt like i was searching and seeking for something more yeah. and like finally coming to terms with really being okay with where things are at and not having that pressure for things to go anywhere else so that's that's kind of driving a lot of what i've been writing uh recently that and uh trying to buy a house which sucks in austin yeah, tell me about it man but I mean, that's a dream, right? Like getting to where you're like fulfilled and happy and finally feel like, not like you've made it because I don't think no one ever makes it, but but where you're finally content with like, wow, I've built this. You know, I got all these things coming. It's going to get serious. And uh, I've built a family because you sure. did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it was one of those things too where like I, going into that, like I had this, I had all this anxiety about, being a dad or being ready, or I had all of these ideas of I wanted to do this, 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 and this before I took that next step into fatherhood. And then 
the minute I found out, I was like, no, I'm, I'm ready for this. Yeah. Like it just all, it all went away. Yeah. So maybe that's like a natural biological response. I don't know. Well, I hope so. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I saw this. I was driving down to Houston for a show uh, last week, and uh -huh. um, I saw a sign on the side of the road that said, not ready for parenthood, wear a condom. And it was just a baby covered head to toe in spaghetti. As if, oh, like, like this is your yeah, 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 like, yeah, like, yeah. like pasta sauce is the most traumatic <laughs> yeah. thing that can happen to a kid yeah. if their parents aren't ready for parenthood. Um, so, I don't know. I'm ready for a pasta I guess covered that's baby. That bad. We'll yeah, be fine. That's yeah, fun. it'll be good. Well, man, I, I got to meet you last year uh, doing all the open mics that we did, and and we got to play shows. And I went to some of your shows. You came to some of mine. Uh, it's been a tremendous ride, like watching you grow and put these songs out and keep going. You, from what I heard tonight, man, you were just killing it. And I'm super excited to see what comes next. I think now we're going to listen to a few more of your songs. Um, but man, I am so excited to see where you go. And, and also, congratulations on your family. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Let's hear, what's the, what's the next song? Uh, I guess it would be like song number two that you did. What's the name of that one? Yeah. Uh, Memories and Throttle. Memories and Throttle. Memories and Throttle? Memories and Throttle. There we go, buddies. Let's hear that next. Back roads trying to ease my racing mind It's another moonless night The only color shows when the heat of lightning strikes Well it ain't rained in weeks I'm suffocating in this heat like a lightning bug trapped inside a bottle Drunk on memories and throttle The window's down but I can't feel a thing Staring wheel reminds me where they used to be rain Using miles like lovers with their rhythmic hum Keeping time with each and every passing walk But lately I ain't been sleeping right A thousand times, but you won't change your mind. It's another hard earned lesson in my way, another chance that's blown up in my face. Something awful, plain as gospel. Drunk on memories and throttle change your mind It's not a cloud as far as I can see I'm 
suffocating in this heat Like a lightning bug trapped inside a bottle It's truly something awful Love is plain as gospel Drunk on memories and throttle Fighting for her love, but you're in an empty ring. And every round you punch, drunk heart goes down without a swing. But she don't care what you've learned or what you could become. When you are the one before the one. Try to find some peace of mind But can't stop wondering If all the time you gave to her Ever meant a thing She moved on and found herself A Hollywood kind of love But now you're just the one before the one But you are the one broken heart she remembers When she's closing her eyes Next to his Cause you are the last Goodbye, the last one To make her cry You are the one Before the one When you think you're doing fine You find out she's engaged You try and try with all you might But just can't look away For well, sure as day she's smiling now Like she's never done But she's not thinking of the one before the one But you are the one broken heart she remembers when she's closing her eyes next to his Cause you are the last goodbye, the last one to make her cry You are the one before the one You are the one before the one You are the one before the one One, two, three, four, one, two Think I'd be settled by now I've had my share of ups and downs You'd think I would have learned Well, I've got money to burn So much forgiveness to earn My way down town where all the girls get 
down the makeup and high heeled shoes, citrus fruit and magnolia, all day parfait. Hell, I don't know where I'm going in life, but I know where I'm going tonight. In the morning, I still feel the glow And come noon, I'll be feeling so alone Nothing lost, nothing to show Cause there ain't no love songs for loners I know where I'm 